Hello there. Are you ready for the quilt show? I went to the Paducah, Kentucky uh, Quilt Week quilt show, the AQS uh, quilt show, um, this year, 2023, at the end of April. And I took as much footage as I could of the quilts that I saw there. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. It's not quite the same as being there in person. And of course, the uh, pictures that I did get don't do it justice, but uh, I think you'll enjoy what I did capture. So watch along with me as I went to the quilt show. Okay, just getting here to the show. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Let's go in and see what's going on. Okay, so here's one of our prize winners. Beautiful quilt, intricately made. It's got some bling on it. See those rhinestones that they've put in there? It's called Cleopatra's Treasure. There's another one, another prize winner. Beautiful. Kind of got a rose theme to it with some blue flowers and greenery with a wish to the stars it says this was amazing here it's uh looks like it's black and white but as you get closer you can see those intricate tiny pieces of all different colors also a prize winner called beyond reason it's another patchwork type stars just kind of was going down the the rows here trying to catch a little bit of each one there's a red and white quilt caught my attention because I recently did a red and white quilt applique patchwork on point it's a very modern style there. Love that turquoise. Another giant star. Scalloped edge. This was beautiful. It has a peacock in the center. Is a Dear Jane. There was there were several Dear Jane style quilts. Here's one called Orange Creamsicle. Our friend Ernest is getting ready to make a orange and cream quilt, two color quilt. Saw that and zoomed in on that. I like those stars in each corner, three stars in the corner on that one. Another beautiful red and white quilt here. Very nice. Rubies, diamonds, and garnets too, it said. There's a prize winning quilt there. Pathfinder. Everything from modern to boho to traditional. There's a multicolor one.
This was interesting. It has buildings all the way around. Another two color and blue and white. These spinning star flower type shapes seem to be very popular now. There's another one. is called Rhythm and Blooms. Rhythm and Blooms. There's another, I think that's a Dear Jane, what they would call a Dear Jane there in shades of blue and white. Very interesting border. kind of a kaleidoscope configuration there on that. I like that. That's really pretty. I like that one. Look at the quilting in the circles there. Very pretty. Well done. Pink Dresdens. That one back there is kind of a, a cityscape. Well, more like a countryside with a lighthouse there. So another one with houses. I really liked this one with the trees. It caught my eye. I thought it was, uh, I don't know, it just captured my attention. It's a really pretty royal blue. Starburst. That animal one there in the back was really something to see. I, I don't think the dark gray did it justice, but those animals on there were, were fantastic. That one there has uh, family photos uh, within it. Uh, it's made by a Japanese um, artist. If I'm not mistaken, there were at least 20 quilts uh, submitted by one Japanese quilter. There's a white one with some uh, trapunto type quilting on it. Peacocks, a regular one, and an albino one. There's a rose themed quilt. Daniel 12 1 and the Archangel Michael. This was a lot of art.
I like the border on that one, how they used the ombre fabric. This quilt here called Meadow is made of teeny tiny diamond shaped pieces of fabric. This is kind of a, it's a red a ribbon runner, kind of a Boston album type. All of these one ribbons here. This was one I particularly loved and it was also a ribbon runner. This one is, is a ribbon winner as well. Another red ribbon winner there. Very colorful. Wow. These ones also are ribbon winners. This cactus one was amazing. It looked like a photograph. I looked at it for quite a while afterwards. Desert in spring. This middle one here with the square inside of it, it's interesting how they did that. I would have never thought to do a strippy uh, inner square like that on a quilt. That's what's great about going to these quilt shows, you get inspired. There's a Hawaiian type quilt. These are all little girls or ladies on here and they each have an individual uh, styled purse in their hands. All of those done separately. Cherry Blossom. There's a little bit closer up of it. This is very pretty. Another feather star. Another feather star. They've got rhinestones on that one. I'd have to say last year there were more quilts that were embellished like that than there were this year. There's a golf themed one. It's like somebody's golf card. <laughs> Hexagon art quilts called pollinators. Uh, the one to the far right that's purple has a, a very lifelike bee on it. I tried to zoom in on it a little bit, but uh, it's a little fuzzy bee. There's a face in that one. This one, uh, one of my subscribers, uh, this belongs to her. She told me that this one would be in the show, so I looked for it.
these are all little bitty teeny tiny squares. <laughs> I didn't stay on that one very long for you to see it. So one block wonder. That one has some awesome quilting on it. This one as well. Um, this was a gallery of graffiti quilts entered from all over, all over the world. Last year it was Lady Diana quilts, or Lady Diane. So of course, we're getting into the, uh, more of the animal themed quilts. This one is of a, uh, a swimmer and the lady standing there is who made that right there believe it or not there's Queen Elizabeth the second it's called Lilibet Here's the inside of an old barn looking out towards the mountains. There's a half square triangle quilt on a blue ribbon. Here's a moose. There's two floors in this building where these exhibits are, and I believe I'm on the second floor at this point. Where are you going, Moosey? <laughs> There's a bird. There's a lot of bird quilts. Here's a, like a vintage uh, dress pattern quilt, an octopus. There's some Labrador retrievers. Another doggy, very well done. This was a prize winner as well. Another 
bird quilt. I like that. Everybody knows I like crows. I don't know if that was a crow or not. This was uh, pretty spectacular, this scene here, no doubt taken from an old photo. This the Mariner. For some reason the lighting wasn't very good on that. There we go. Kitty cat by the sewing machine. Mr. Helper, it says. <laughs> Another very well done horse. I like this citrus one. Uh, well, it says just lemons, but the detail in the thread art is amazing on this quilt. Some penguins walking off into the sunset. And there's many, 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 many more quilts that I didn't get photos photos of. There just wasn't enough time and energy to do it. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, but that's not all. Uh, I did have a chance to interview a couple of ladies at the uh, Purple Pineapple booth, and they are the ladies who uh, distribute the uh, quadrillo pillow pattern that uh, everyone's been uh, using lately. Uh, so yeah, was selling it, and many of you have made those. And they even uh, offered to uh, give us a couple things to give away. So at the end of this video, when you get finished watching it, uh, leave a comment, uh, any kind of comment whatsoever, and you'll be uh, entered to win one of those items. And uh, it is a, a binder, binding clip of some kind, like when you make your quilt binding and then you want to wrap it up neatly until you're ready to use it. It's a little plastic clip for that and they're really nice. So just leave any any sort of comment below and you will be entered for that. Okay, so these are the Triangulo Gals. This is now their pattern yep. that they've made their own. And what are your guys' names? I'm Amy. Amy. And Jackie. Amy and Jackie from Purple Pineapple Studio? Yep, yep, in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, okay. And we are at the Paducah Quilt Show and they are here in their booth. Mm -hmm. And just wanted to let everybody know that I met you guys and that you're famous now <laughs> for your pattern. Okay, So and say we have, we have a new product to tell you about. Sure, tell us. It is our That's a Wrap Binding School and um, you can 
get one for a free giveaway. <gasps> really? <laughs> listen, yeah, listen, you guys. They're going to give one for a free giveaway. Yeah. So I will investigate that and let you know exactly what that is, and I'll tell you how to enter. So thank you, gals, for right, talking to thanks. me today. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that was the show. Thanks for following along with me here. Hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget the giveaway, and uh, leave a comment. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you back here on Lessons Learned on the next episode. Bye.